We're back with more of a new morning for you. And I'm Jean Lamont, in case you're just joining us. We are going to be talking about that very special exhibition in Lincoln, California that got underway on June 4th and will be running through July the 1st. It's called Feats of Clay. And with me to talk about it is Ray Gonzalez. He is the exhibition chairman, and we are very pleased to have you here. Thank you. We have, what, three lovely pieces that right. will be a part of that exhibition. Mm -hmm. So let's repeat that time, date, and place again and the location okay. of uh, the exhibition hall. Okay. It, the exhibition will be held on the grounds of the Gladding McLean Terracotta Factory in Lincoln. It's a factory that's 110 years old, and they have gigantic kilns inside that are just as big as small houses. We were able to use one of the kilns for half of the exhibition. It's a domed 35-foot beehive kiln. Mm -hmm. And when we went in to ask them if we could use it, they walked us into a kiln, and it's, it was so spooky because <laughs> it's this big brick thing. I guess. And it's a working kiln. Yeah. It's called a beehive kiln because it cones in like this. Uh -huh. And there was just light shooting in through these open shafts because there's no lights in the kiln because they just fire it for pieces. It's not a room. Isn't that something? And so, How old are they? And that kiln's probably 100 years old or so. right? Mm -hmm. That in itself is historical, huh? Yeah, just stand in the, standing <laughs> in the place. It's real. Mm -hmm. It's a working um, factory still. And they use the old thing still. They have a room upstairs where the upstairs exhibition will be the other half of it. And they have molds there that they've used since the beginning of the factory as well as ones that have come up that they've been making since then. Mm -hmm. And they're just stored all around and in some places the dust is so thick and the stairs are so worn as you're getting to the places that the history just surrounds you. Mm. So, and we were able to use that area also for the exhibition. Wonderful. And you say it's very easy to find once right, you yeah. drive into Lincoln mm -hmm. and just, uh, mm -hmm. which highway do you take to if get you, to it? If you take 80... Which highway leads you there? If you take 80 east, um, there's a Lincoln exit. Just mm -hmm. take the Lincoln exit. That'll lead you right into 65, Highway 65, which goes straight into Lincoln. And just go straight in off of 65 on the right-hand side. Take the 7th Street turnoff. And on the left, okay. you'll see this giant factory. All right. What times exit. of day can uh, people come out to see it? Monday through Friday, 93. Okay. Up until July the 1st. Up until July the okay. 1st. And Saturdays, um, 9 till 12. You do need to call in to make a... A reservation because the factory is still working okay and you'll be going right into the plant and very good so reservations are required right. and mm -hmm. that phone number for reservations or information is 645-9713 and of course that's area right. code 916 correct okay now this is a traveling exhibition no it, it no. doesn't go anyplace else no nope, it just it'll begin and end here uh-huh okay mm -hmm. All right, now, you've brought these three pieces, and uh, again, right. it's, 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 there are many, right? Right, there are 56 pieces total, and that's from a draw of 400 entries nationwide from 29 states, artists that had entered. Interesting. And we had um, San Francisco artist Ron Nagel, who's internationally known for his clay work, choose from that field 56 pieces. Okay. And so, the, this is... All right, now, these three those. pieces, let's talk about them one at a time here. Let's start with this one. Okay. This is a social issue kind of piece. It's called World on a Spit, and it's by um, Eugene, Oregon artist Julie Ackerman. And you can just, it explains itself. There's a world with people on it holding hands, and there's bombs and destruction and lots of things going on with it. It's a social-oriented piece. Yes, it, 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 I suppose there some thinking went into it, right. but it's what you're reading into it, right? Right, right. A Every lot of individual. That is... It can mean one thing to me and another to you. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. All right, let's move on to the next. Okay, this next piece is called Moon Dust Number 1. It's a Raku vase um, by Jeff Reich from Apache Junction, Arizona. And it's, a, it's from a Japanese technique that grew out of the tea ceremony in Japan, and it's a method of fast-firing glazes and pieces, pulling them red hot out of the kiln. As the kiln's about 2,000 degrees, you pull it out hot, and the air um, causes the glaze to crackle because everything shrinks at different rates, including the glaze and the clay body, and so that's how that crackling effect has gotten. Beautiful piece. Impressive. Oh, Very good. yes. And then the one beside you? Right here. This is our third place winner. It's called Composition 13. It's by John W. Hopkins from Grand Terrace, California. And it's, it pretty much speaks for itself. It's a really beautiful place. Oh, yeah. 
Well, if, mm. if this is any sign of what the others are like, my heavens. It is. It's, it's an a, incredible exhibit. Yes. It has a little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. Lovely. Mm. So there are 40 some other pieces or 50 uh, others. 56, 56 total. 56 total, but uh -huh. this is only three of them. Right. These are only three, and there are traditional type pieces like this, and there are some pretty wild pieces as well. So the, I was real appreciative of the judge choosing a wide range of... Mm -hmm. Okay, and there will be people there that can tell about right. it, and uh, there's also write-ups about it. Right. And I see you're wearing a T-shirt, Feet to Play, oh, right. which I suppose those are available right, also these are available. Thanks. for anybody coming up if they'd like to purchase one that mm -hmm. they can. Okay, yeah. it's a wonderful uh, exhibition. It's a lovely, beautiful one. And, uh, of course, we've given you the address, and uh, I'll repeat the telephone number, and that is 645-9713, and this exhibition will run through July 1st in Lincoln, California. And I thank you so much, mm -hmm. Ray Gonzalez, for coming here and telling us about it. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. When we come back, we're going to be doing a little cooking with Chef Suhu, and it'll be East-West cooking right after this.